Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series and today it's a yet another live project session where I will show you how to design a template, how to design your website through live coding. This is a part 16 of the Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. I am planning around 40 tutorials for you which includes tutorials as well as live projects and examples. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so you so that you have continuity in your learning. So we have so far we have learned about the grids, we have navbar cards, list, tables, buttons and button groups. In the li last uh, episode we did a live project by designing a website and simulating an application called Xylo. Xylo. And today we'll continue uh, enhancing it by adding more functionality features to it. Uh, let's get started. So in the process we will learn about some of the components that we have learned so far to use them. Right. So let's get started. Uh, let me first show you what we are up to. So this is how it looks so far. Um, this is what we have done. Uh, we have a navbar and we put some cards and we have a title, we have a button and we have a table. Right. So today we'll enhance this, add more functionality, make it much more appealing and much more functionality to it. Let's get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this row because I need this layout once more. Uh, and before that, what I will do, I will just group this table into table responsive. Right. So that's a div utility class. What that, that tells is that, you know, to make it this table responsive. Right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this entire thing once again. Uh, this entire thing and copy it here and this I'm going to replace the h1 with the input text box so that I make a search box here input type equal to text and I'm going to say place class equal to form control I'm going to cover forms in bootstrap in the next episode for you um, so stay tuned for that as well and now I'm going to say search inside table. All right. So now I come and refresh. So now we see a beautiful little search text box, right? So this can be used to search the text that can be inside of this particular table, right? And then I'm saying, I don't want this. I need a button group, right? So let's go here to bootstrap documentation and pick up the standard button group copy and then come here and instead of this one button paste the button group and here I'm saying PDF print and I'm saying download okay and also I don't want the full buttons right that's something that I don't like it because it takes away the primary utility uh, so what we will do is we'll put an outline because these are secondary actions Right. So always have a consistency in how you design. So now you see we have print PDF download, right? So the main action button is always primary. The secondary ones are outlined, right? So that looks much better. So this is for searching inside the table. This is for more actions on the table, right? Now, similarly, we'll copy this once more and let's design it beautifully like a grid. Now you can you can figure out that this is coming up like a more of a dashboard kind of a thing that you can think of and this input will delete and here we'll put showing 10 out of 100. All right. So here you see the list and then here let's say again we are going to say we are going to put pagination right. So you can put something like numbers. Right, so see now you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Like this is like the pagination, right? So we have the search here inside the table. We have some actions of print, PDF, download, and adding actions, and we have the cards here, right? So we can make them little more relevant, and we can say uh, cost, right? Uh, revenue per month, something like that. Some meaningful names and um, next month 
this month right so something like variables now you can also use something like um, so say pg success right now see I'm going to use colors to indicate it right and I'm going to take text white so something like this and then I'm going to say bg warning and text black right so we have this and then we are going to say bg danger and say text white right and last but not the least uh, say info text black right all right so here we are um, so we have this beautiful thing now at the top we can also customize our links and make it more relevant right uh, applications right subscriptions right and I don't want to search here instead what we can do is we can just add one here and we see this here right so we are going to remove this here and say Mr. Otto right and we are going to say remove it here so this should ideally go on the right okay uh, so now this is disabled so let's remove this also so we have applications subscriptions home and at the end towards we can have something like profile logout right so the last link should be logout right and this I'll say profile say my or say billing right cool so we have application subscriptions profile billing account logout and if you add some more rows I think it should look much beautiful just like a real-time application right so far you can you can get a feel um, how it's turning out to be right so this is how you can create any dashboard kind of a page in bootstrap right which will have some pagination which will have some actions some title and finally some um, thing now to enhance it what we can also do is we can also put a quick background right and we can say background hyphen color right so this is where we can throw in a let's say f8 f7 f6 right a slightish grayish like color and you can this is for the main body right so in the container and in the container we can add white color so there are a lot of variations that we can try it out now now see now I have added white color here and little kind of a grayish kind of a background to the uh, body right now so this is how uh, it looks and this is how uh, you can go about designing any kind of a website and if you don't want this to be uh, usually this should be outside so it will give that punch to you right so what we can do is we can pull put this out and move this out of the container right um, so that will give us a good punch uh, for so what I'm going to do it is is move it here right so this is now usually it's hundred percent but you don't want if you don't want it um, we can have it in other ways also um, so you get the idea right so I mean that's up to us how we want to arrange them uh, but yeah that's how you go about designing a beautiful template that you want to see I hope uh, it helps you I hope it helps you um, give confidence that you can go about building any kind of template or website uh, using bootstrap in the next episode we will start covering about forms in bootstrap um, there's so many components we are yet to learn so in the next episode I will cover about the bootstrap forms which we will cover in detail and until then take care if you have any doubts just drop them in the comment section below I'll be happy to help you Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.